Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to The Correct Views. Sam DeGangi. Please hit share, hit subscribe, and please get ready for a little wow moment. We've already addressed the fact that, uh, of course, and it seems somehow to never come up in the media, for a president, meaning Biden, for a president who has been accused of being in bed with China, it is very strange that he would leave as much weaponry behind as he did. Now, we've talked about on the show before how some have opined that this is because we need our troops available for some situation that could develop in Taiwan or something with Russia or something with North Korea. We didn't need our troops bogged down in Afghanistan any longer. I, I, you know, I, I'm not against leaving. I'm against leaving the way that we left, but I'm not against leaving. I think that's a good thing. Something hit me today when I was thinking about the uh, the cover job that's being done for Biden. And if you don't know what I mean by cover job, let me give it to you real quick. I'm sure you've heard about it. I didn't even bother fact camming it. It was on Drudge. It was on a few. If you see something on Drudge, he sold out to the left because uh, Trump didn't give him the little job he wanted. So allegedly, that's why. If you see something on Drudge, you might as well see it on like you know Politico at this point. But he, he, they're saying that because the military took a lot of the components out of the choppers or the tanks or the various, what, $86 billion, give or take a few cents, oh, who cares, that we left over there. That it wasn't what it looked like. That America did not leave our enemies with all kinds of weapons to kill half of the people who we left behind, which by Joe Biden's estimate, according to what he said, 10% of the people got left behind who they wanted to bring. Now, you know, who knows? Was he being figurative with this guy? Who knows? I mean, the man said, my bus been wiped, and the media never asked him what he meant by it. So he gets a pass on everything, and here's how he got a pass on this. You don't think because they took out a few components of these weapons that the Afghan, the Taliban can't very easily fabricate what they need. I, I know a lot of people in this country are too stupid to realize which bathroom they should use. They want to follow the science until the science tells them what gender they are. Then they want to say that the science is wrong. Most of the world does still have fabricators. They can make things. They can make things. There's even still fabricators in America, believe it or not. There are. It's true. Now, what they can do is reverse engineer this very easily to figure out what they need. And let, let me point this out. This may be the most important part of the video. If you're still with me, let me know in the comment line that this is an oh wow moment. Let's say there are five motorcycles and you you don't have any motorcycles and i take out part of the engine in one and down the street they decide they're gonna you know do the same thing but they take the wheels off well when the taliban comes along now they've got a motorcycle with no wheels they've got a motorcycle with various things trinkets missing out of the engine i'm an expert on in case you can't tell uh, various things taken out of the engine. However, you can go and look at the destruction of the tired one, the one that had no tires, and you can see that the engine is intact. So now you can take it apart and see what it is that you need. There's no uniformity to the way that these things were destroyed. If there is, please let me know about it because I haven't heard it. They were destroying them randomly. Okay. They can't work that backwards. You didn't destroy them all in the same way. And even if you did, they could. They, people are going to tell me. I, 
I can already hear it. People are going to tell me, well, Sam, there's nobody to train them how to make these components. There was nobody to train them how to take over a country in less than a week. Okay? Clearly, the people that we trained have been training the Taliban all along, which we've known because some of them were uh, double agents or some of them were pretending to be on America's side and maybe even helping out and then giving the information to the Taliban the moment they had the opportunity to or were forced into it. You don't think that some of the Americans that are struck there, maybe if they have any knowledge like this at all, they're going to be used? Here's another point. Here's another oh wow moment. You want another one? I'll give you another one. We saw the helicopters flying. So not all of the components, components have been taken out of everything if the Taliban is joyriding in a Black Hawk helicopter. So maybe we took apart some of the Black Hawk helicopters. Well, we can. we have one that works. We know that. We can use it to figure out how to fix that. Why is the media not drawing that? Oh, yeah, that the, 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 they were trying to smear Biden. That's all. They just wanted to smear him. Here's the truth. The military actually disabled a lot of that stuff. What well, kind of? And last but not least, let's go back to where we started and tie this up real nicely. China, as Trump would say. China would love to get their hands on this equipment. But Sam, they're not going to work with Islamists. China's famous for slaughtering Islamists. They're not going to walk them into the country and give them a bowl of rice. But you know what they are going to do? They're going to say, hey, Taliban. Y'all, you guys need money. Oh, we really needed money, y'all. The Chinese are going to put a whole bunch of yen, if you will, a whole lot of money. They're going to buy all of this surplus that maybe the Taliban can't fix off of the Taliban. And then China is going to have real-life study blueprints for many of the major weapons that we have. But Sam, they didn't leave any major weapons behind. How do you know? They're not going to tell you. There's probably cutting-edge weapons there that we don't know anything about. Now, this last part's assumption. The rest of it's fact. The last part here's assumption, to close it out. You don't think they had any very, very sophisticated technology being used there that has fallen into the hands of the Taliban, which may or may not work, which China would love to get their hands on. Maybe China will say, look, we'll let you guys do what you do here. We want to buy this, this, and this. We'll give you this many billions of dollars. Don't bomb us. Now, the Taliban may listen to China because unlike America, if China, if uh, the Taliban did break such an agreement, if there was to be one, China would wipe the border off the map. That's, that's by all means a correct view. So let me know what you think of some of the points which I've made in this video. Hit share, hit subscribe. By all means, if you're watching, I hope you're getting it on Opera News. Good night, friends. God bless.